So here at the Norfolk District, and especially in the architecture section, you know, we are really a project-driven and a project-funded organization. And a really unique aspect of it, one thing I like to think about is, you know, these projects are as much for you and me, everyone on the team, as much as it is for our stakeholders. You know, we are all part of this, we're taxpayers, and that brings a unique perspective to how we do things. When I first started out in 2015, most of the mission at that time for us was really focused on military construction. Since then, in the past several years, the MILCON program has slowed down slightly and our civil works program has really ramped up. As you know, sea level rise is a, is a big deal and uh, the Corps of Engineers is really tasked with how to help our, our, our country and our cities protect themselves against future sea level rise and the current flooding we're experiencing. So, you might ask yourself, why is an architect necessary to do a flood protection project uh, or a resiliency project for sea level rise? And we've always looked to provide visualization to help our customers understand what is it that this building or this project is gonna look like at the end of the day, and is this what you really want? When you have a, a, a levee or, or a flood wall that you're looking to construct in an urban context inside a city, it's really important how that wall is located, where are the openings, what's the elevation in relationship to the pedestrian movement and the walkways. And so we've been able to take these tools that we use to do renderings and 3D visualizations and provide those for these civil works projects to help stakeholders, cities, and designers understand what are the impact and how do we make that into a building that meets the customer's needs, that's functional, that's economical, and that is something that's gonna stand the test of time.